And hello everyone, we welcome you to the Taj Mahal of Basketball. It's Defiance High School, big non-league boys basketball matchup tonight on this Saturday night as the Bulldogs entertain the T-Birds of Lima Central Catholic. With Miles Holiday, I'm Randy Roberts. Partner, here we go, big matchup tonight. LCC comes in undefeated at 8-0, Defiance at 4-5. They're going through the uh, sportsmanship announcements right now done by the Western Buckeye League. Is the crowd gonna fill in here? A little bit of an odd start time, a lot going on, but people coming in here and looking forward to what uh, well, it could be still a pretty interesting matchup tonight. Yeah, and where else would you rather be, partner, than right here, right now? This is a marquee-type matchup. Two blue blood-type programs. Defiance graduated a ton last year, right? Still trying to figure out what they are, but big win last night for them over Van Wert, 59-46. And this T-Bird team from LCC making a statement early in this year, partner, that they might be one of the best teams in the state of Ohio. Yeah, coming in now at 8-0, thanks to a 47-43 win over Kaleida last night. This is a team scoring just under 60 points a game at 58.4. Got a couple of players in the double figures. Jordan Pretty at 16 a game. Willie Foster at 12 and a half. Before we get any further, we'll step aside here as they are in the middle of our national anthem. and Miles back with you here after the uh, national anthem. We'll have a couple of minutes here while they go through the introductions of everyone tonight. So we talked a little bit about the T-Birds of LCC partner, about the Bulldogs of Defiance coming in at four and five on our fourth year head coach, Bryn Lehman, as you see the starting lineup there for the uh, T-Birds and first year head coach, Sean Powell. Yeah, Sean Powell, no uh, secret that the guy knows how to be successful. State title under his belt, first year as the head coach at LCC, took over for the legendary Frank Kill. At four up. Uh, Defiance now four and five. You mentioned LCC in action last night. Got the win over Kaleida 47 to 43. I was back to the win column for the Bulldogs as they went to Van Wert. Got to win 59 46. They're now four and five. And the struggles this year have been on offense. Yeah, sure has. It graduated a ton of uh, points. Uh, Zach Rich gone. Uh, the lead dog, Braden Shaw gone. The two guys that uh, carried the offense. So what do you got to do? We got to figure out who's going to carry the basketball and score some points for you. Antonio Lopez is a guy that they want to step forward as be their, their number one scorer, but they got a lot of potential inside with Castile and Lignon. Yeah, Brogan Castile, their leading scorer, 12 points a game, adds six rebounds. Khalil Ligon, 9.9 uh, .9 points, five rebounds. You mentioned Antonio Lopez at 9.4 points, just trying to find some people kind of fill up the hoop, be a big thing for the Bulldogs. So Miles, let's take a look. And our keys to the game in this one, and let's start with the T-Birds of LCC. Yeah, number one, foster some assists because assists lead the points. And you talk about guys that can do it. Willie Foster, Damar Foster, and even Carson Parker. Randy, both all three of those guys, they average two assists per game. That's when the T-Birds are at their best when they're sharing the basketball. Number two, Burke, 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 six foot six, and you can't teach that he is a dude inside Mark, he has Mark, to Mark, he has Mark, to dominate Mark, the glass Mark, like he Mark. normally does and then number Mark, three Mark, put Mark. on your track shoes this wants to, they want this to be an up and down game because as you said this defiance team they struggle to score the basket Mark, Mark. okay enough of that all right i'm with some keys to the game now for the defiance bulldogs uh, let's have a nice slow dance if you're defiance right you be want, weird up here but okay you want to make sure you're taking a lot of clock on your offensive possessions make this a slow type game 40 points, even if it's below 40 points, you like Defiance's chances. 
Number two, you remember that great song by Elton John, and we shall be league gone, right? That's what you want to do if you're the offense of defiance. Khalil is a big dude, 10 points, five rebounds, get him going early. And then number three, punish the paint. Who's the punisher? Well, we know from football, right? Brogan Castile, six foot, but he plays much bigger. 12 points, six rebounds. He's a physical dude. They have to dominate the glass if they're going to win this game. They're just about ready for the 36th meeting all time between LCC and Defiance. T-Birds lead the all-time series. 22 of 13 took last year's matchup, played at the end of the year. 67 to 58, snapped a three-game win streak in the series by Defiance. Dogs win the opening tip, but they're going to turn it over. Quick steal early on as DeMar Foster will bring this into the front court. Yeah, how about the quick hands by Foster early? You better be aware if you're holding the basketball near him. Get it over at Carson Parker. Parker top of key. Has a little two-man game now. They'll give it into the corner for Matthew Quatman. Reverse it around as it is T-Birds who are taking their time here this opening possession. Yeah, great patience offensively by the T-Birds early because Defiance really digging in defensively. That is going to draw some applause from both uh, teams. Wing three is going to be the settled shot, and it's a good one out of Carson Parker. Now that's a big shot for Carson Parker because he was only averaging 19% from behind the arc, 100% that time. So Bulldogs, first time they're able to set up their half-court offense. Nearly turned it over a second time. We'll get a bump and a foul. So this is going to go on Matthew Quatman. That's going to be his first. Well, you love the aggressive nature early out of this T-Bird defense, but if Quatman just kind of one of those a little bit too much, right? You can't knock guys down. Easy call by the official. It's 2 nothing early on, or I'm sorry, 3 nothing early on in our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphos, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. A really good help defense by the T-Birds cutting off. Lopez. And Jordan Wright was trying to go off the wing instead. They'll get it out and Antonio Lopez will get the bucket. Makes it 3-2, six and a half minutes to go opening quarter. Pull up jumper, tried to bank that in. Did Carson Parker a little bit off the mark and it's one and done and the Bulldogs bring the offense into the half court. Yeah, a little bit of a glimpse of Brogan Castile and his physicality. Good box out on that defensive rebound for Defiance. Ball comes out nearly mishandling it. It was Khalil Ligon. They'll swing it around. Ligon with it now at the wing. It's that entry pass in, but it's taken away. Another turnover. It's second one early on. Parker with the spin, the loss, the handle. So the teams will trade turnovers, and the Bulldogs will have the basketball back once again. Yeah, Defiance Mata got away with one right there. A little physicality turns the, the ball over. And Quatman, that's going to be the second time in this ball game. And matching fouls, a couple of nickel and dimers going after loose balls. See head coach Sean Powell up working the bench there. State champion at uh, Botkins. I'm sorry, state champion. Yeah. Yeah, that Botkins, was right. Yeah. yeah, heck of a team. He had that year, obviously. Uh, the Carter Plyman, I believe it was, that was fantastic for him. And of course, uh, Pretty was really good as well. Spin along the baseline is going to be knocked free. Career at uh, Lima Shawnee, stopped at Bath. As here's a deflection out of bounds. So T-Birds early on having a little bit of trouble getting set. And Defiance will get this basketball back. Well, it's gonna keep Defiance in this basketball game. Already three turnovers for LCC early. But the uh, big win for the T-Birds came right before the end of the year is a baseline drive. That's gonna be no good. Nice give and go as the T-Birds handed uh, Ottawa Glandorf their lone loss of the season so far. A great game, 56-54. Put back off the miss is going to be up and good as Billy Burke will get in and score for Lima Central Catholic. Yeah, how do you not get a body on the guy that's 6'6", foot six, right? Billy Burke just attacks the glass, running the lane. Not a white jersey on him. Easy put back for Burke. Corner threes, Defiance is going to try to answer. That's going to be no good out of their quarterback from uh, the football team, Brez Zipfel. Brez, another one of those guys expected to step up and help out. There's one lost. 
trouble, but the loose ball ends up right in the hands of Willie Foster, who's able to score. As looks like the Bulldogs want to take a quick timeout, we're going to take a look at the replay. Yeah. The explosiveness of Willie Foster really stepped on the scene last Saturday, 26 against OG, including the game winner with 3.8 left. The super sophomore. Boy, is he explosive. I want to tell you that our timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 7-2 so LCC. They've just about used up this timeout, so we'll keep it here for the balance of this quarter. want to give a quick shout-out to uh, our unbelievable crew as... Uh, Good majority of us were over at the other end of town earlier this afternoon for a Defiance College Hoops. You might have saw some of that live here on WOSN. And uh, unbelievable job, tear down. I did absolutely not. So they, my, my help was for me to vacate my seat as quickly as I could yep. to allow our guys to tear the stuff down. I always love when we ask Ken Reeker, our mm -hmm. producer, hey, do you want us to help you with anything? And he gives us that terrified look like, no, you'll I've, break stuff. I've seen what happens when yeah. you guys try to help. Your help is to get out of my way. Yeah, something about this is why we can't have nice things That's and right. stuff. Yeah. That's exactly what we did. Hey, so. but congratulations to you, partner. People might not know this. This is your third game today. <laughs> that is... That is a marathon-type session for Randy Roberts. Only way it could get better, and I was telling Ken about this, only way it could get better one time, I would like to do the first round of the NCAA tournament. Oh, yeah? Four games in one day. That's think, my goal. That would, that would be pretty That fun. would be. Talk about that on your radio show today, goals. Yeah. Mine, I'd love to do the first day of the NCAA tournament, the first round. Hashtag goals, uh, missed jumper there by Castile. And uh, points have been uh, difficult all year long, and especially this game for Defiance. A little hesitation on the, uh, the the ball fake and the step, so it's a travel. So the team's continuing to trade turnovers here. So when getting a little sloppy as we got halfway through this opening quarter. And again, both teams, a lot of energy used last night in getting impressive wins as a uh, pass to the baseline's deflected away. Right, good call by Bryn Lehman, a head coach here for Defiance. They got free on that little backdoor cut off of a high post entry couple possessions ago, see if it's still there. Better played that time by the T-Birds. I don't know, we have a, a, a good view from, from where we're broadcasting at of uh, the elder coach Lehman. I don't know who's more intense right now. Brent on the sideline, or watching Kirk up here, just watching the, the dogs trying to get going offensively. Extra couple of bounces are gonna pay off for the Bulldogs. Yeah, how about Khalil Lignan, big time. Let's hit everything in the county and let it go down, release, rotation, boink, 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 and then in. No, it's Burke, Burke, Burke. 7-5, <laughs> I also want to tell you that uh, our game today is brought to you by 20th Century Lanes. There's something for everyone at 20th Century Lanes, proud supporter of all Lima area athletes. Yeah, Garrett Rodenberger checked in, and you see him right there, number five for Defiance. Heck of an athlete, tremendous football player, and a physical presence inside for Defiance. Wing jumper doesn't go for LCC, so here come the Bulldogs. It looked like they wanted to maybe get into a track meet, then they realized what Miles' keys to the game were. So instead, pull up jumper, that one doesn't go. It's Khalil Legon tried once again to make sure he hit all parts of the iron on a made basket. Into the corners, Willie Foster, Foster cut off, kept his dribble, now we'll get rid of it. Up on top, good spin move. As Carson Parker in the lane, can't get that to go. And Legon come in, snare the miss for the Bulldogs. Yeah, Defiance doing a really good job of limiting LCC to just one opportunity on the offensive end. Keep a guy in front of the shooter and then get the defensive rebound. Good recipe for good defense. A kick out and a wing three is a good one as Brez Zipfel knocks down the second triple of the night for the Bulldogs. Yeah, how about Zipfel? from downtown gives the Bulldogs the lead for the first time. Baseline look by Quatman doesn't go. As Miles said, Defiance now in front. You see there in her least famous recipe chicken scoreboard, 8-7, 220 and counting, left to go in our opening quarter. Yeah, they've really dominated the action here of late since that timeout was called by Bruden Lehman. Rodenberger not quite sure what to do against that zone defense. Kick out comes out on top of the key, here's Jordan Wright. 
right to Legon, back to right. They'll reset the offense. And Defiance really with a big opportunity here to shorten this game up. Got to get some paint touches right there. Khalil should go one-on-one, -on -one, gets himself to the line. Trying to go in between two defenders. Ooh. He's going to be called for a tie-up. Arrow's going to favor the T-Bird, so a turnover, and now LCC will get the basketball back. Now, great help side principles. That time Billy Burke slid right over, caused the tie-up. You got to like Billy Burke. One, he looks like Bill Walton, right, when he played it, for the Portland uh, Trailblazers. Beautiful look with that beard and that flowing hair. But number two, such a smart player, isn't he? He is. Very much is. Willie Foster comes up. There is the aforementioned Burke. It's the lob inside. Carson Parker can't get it to go. Second effort is able to draw the foul. And now we will see the 6'3 senior head to the free throw line. There's that drive of the baseline a little bit ago by Willie Foster, highlighting his quickness. This is the LCC team, man. They, they have some sophomores that are just electric on the backcourt. They're going to be fun to watch as they grow for the next two years. First free throw, bounce round, fall through for Parker. Carson has struggled, I guess, would be the word to use at the free throw line. Three of 16. Yeah, that's a little bit rough. Yeah, I didn't remember he was struggling a little bit behind the arc as well, but got that big one. So looks like he's getting his, his shooting touch finally he for LCC. Both of them there. The number's not impressive from the charity stripe for the T-Birds, but they get both of them to reclaim the lead, 9-8, down under a minute and a half to go opening quarter. No one's gonna pick up the shooter, so off the wing, nice job from the elbows. T.J. Kellermeyer, good looking left-handed shot, will fall through. Now, a really good basketball name here in Defiance, and living up to that name, big time jumper. Nice job hanging in the air, shot doesn't go for Damar Foster. And now Defiance with it. We'll see how much time they can run off this final minute. Well, so far the slow dance in the second part of this first quarter has been all everything Defiance wants. And there's your guy again. How about a run the perimeter for Khalil Ligon and knocked down his second triple. And we shall be Ligon. Unbelievable. Four point lead for the dogs. 35 seconds left in the opening quarter. Parker trying to answer, that one doesn't go. Nice box out as uh, Burke and Legon got tied up and now we're gonna have a whistle on what was going to be a super impressive steal, but it's gonna be a ball out of bounds. Oh, the quickness of DeMar Foster, almost a steal but stepped on the sideline. Unfortunately, Antonio Lopez was kind of looking back at Coach Bryn Lehman, wanted to get a call, and the next thing you know, the ball is gone. It's just how quick they come at you. Defiance with it back, trying to hold on to this four-point lead. And there's that no time. Even with this youthful team of Defiance, you would not be surprised if we saw them rip off six, seven wins in a row. Oh, without a doubt. Such a well-coached team. And anytime you play great defense, you have a shot. A little bit of a hurried three from the corner. It's going to be no good. And that's how our opening quarter will end. So an entertaining Opening eight minutes, it is 13-9, Bulldogs after one. We'll take a break as you're watching High School Basketball live on WOSN. And when any, whenever anyone shoots any free throws this evening, they are going to the Charles River free throw line. It's because our free throws are brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs at seariver.com to apply today. Easy for me to say. That's what happens. I'm on my third game. Give me a break. What do you want from me? <laughs> Good old Chuck Water sponsoring the free throws. <laughs> Bulldogs with the basketball as we begin quarter number two. Dogs up by four. They might employ a little Paul Wayne strategy. Hey, let's score the first bucket, get out of here up to nothing. No, not when it is in the hands of TJ Kellemeyer. He is an aggressive shoot first mindset. And why not? He's two for two. Dogs with the biggest lead of the night now, 15-9. Rob's gonna come in that high post, trying to feed Angelo Collins. And that's gonna be off the mark. Yeah, good look by Collins though. Right-handed hook. Six foot four, had the shot. Everything looked good except for the result. 
Somehow Miles has gone that entire first quarter without mentioning how much he loves the LCC uniforms. It's scarlet and gray. Oh, I think that it's scarlet and uh, baby blue, isn't it? Yeah, it Columbia. might be, yeah. 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 In your, in your little, defense. Gray, a little gray in our vantage point. Yeah, in your defense, we are up in the uh, upper section, so it's a little bit tougher to, to see. And you know, guys at your advanced age, you know, one of the things that goes, you, you become colorblind. I get it. That's right. It's okay. It's my third game. What do you want from me? <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but you've done three games today. <laughs> so I've heard. Uh, LCC with a basketball. As DeMar Foster will have this one. Foster again, their leading scored about 16 a game and held scoreless so far. Trying to get the little hook and in, and I think the offensive foul is going to be charged here. There's that uh, baseline attack again that we saw earlier in the game, but unfortunately a turnover this time by LCC. Brez Zipfel back into the lineup now for the Bulldogs. Comes in inbounds to uh, Logan Hutchinson, checked in. Hutchinson, Huts, Hutchinson, easy for me to say, at the point. Now to Kellermeyer. Kellermeyer working that right wing. Fires one a little bit high, but Lee got able to get it. Yeah, you gotta wonder if uh, LCC is gonna start to get a little bit tight. Well, one thing they better do is go out on Khalil. Khalil translates to made three. He's got three of them for nine. That is half of the offensive production for Defiance. And about the answer coming from Jordan Pretty on the other end. Yeah, I was going to say, the uh, last possession, he's been awfully quiet. Uh, he woke up in a hurry. Gentleman that averages a big time scoring load for this LCC team steps forward when they need a bucket. It's uh, correct myself. Pretty, their leading score at 16 a game. Foster 12 and a half. Off the uh, second effort, off the miss, Khalil Ligon. He's going to take on every big body for LCC. Comes up short, and now here come the T-Birds. Yeah, it's a little one-on-four action. And Pretty hits the side of the backboard. Now Reach is going to be called here on Willie Foster. It's going to be the second foul this quarter on the Thunderbirds as Defiance will make a couple more changes now. Jordan Wright. Antonio Lopez come back in. Yeah, you got to wonder if that is one of those frustration fouls, right? You know, one of those playground type moves. You don't get the shot, it doesn't go in, so you, you try to reach, and next thing you know, you pick up a foul. It's got to be a little bit frustrating for LCC down by six in a game that you got to believe they thought they were going to win easily. 18 12 with five and a half minutes left to go in our second quarter. Baseline drive, Garrett Roderberg is going to be blocked back towards him. Thought he had an open lane. LCC continuing to fire away from that quarter, and it's a successful one as DeMar Foster knocks down the triple. Yeah, I believe that's what LCC has to do, right? Score on the move on transition. Anytime that they've had to dig in offensively, that defiance defense has been fantastic. Now 18-15, our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Pull-up jumper from that elbow. That's where defiance has done a lot of damage. No good that time out of right. There's a good look by Wright, but he never squared up on the shot. And we're going to have ourselves an offensive foul, and this one's going to be whistled on Collins. Yeah, I believe Collins uh, thinks that he was wrong. Watch his reaction. And Collins, again, didn't get the call that he wanted. And I tell you what, partner, we love that baseline move for the easy bucket by Willie Foster, Jr. He was fantastic on it. Our scoreboard tonight brought to you again by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken for home style happens here. Now we're going to have a whistle and a hold on the corner. And it's going to draw the ire of some LCC fans because there uh, has been a lot of non-calls or offensive calls when Lima Central Catholic has the basketball. Three from the corner, that one's gonna be up no good, nearly tipped in. But the T-Birds come away with it, they'll quickly bring it into the front court with Carson Parker. Swing it to the opposite side. Foster, the kick, nice ball fake, baseline jumper off the mark. Deflection ends up into the hands of Zipful. That was a great up fake by Willie Foster, but he didn't enhance his look, did he? He took the dribble closer to the baseline, 
had a tougher shot actually with it. Should have would have been better off to pass it to a teammate. Lopez will throw a contested pass over towards Zipfo, and now another whistle and a foul. And this is going to be the fifth. Well, it's what the officials have. They've been consistent all game long, right? If you're riding the dribbler out by the timeline and you're not letting them drive and advance the basketball, you're going to get called for the foul. And that's about the fourth time in this game LCC's been whistled for that. So two shots coming now. Brett Zipfel, 8-9 at the line. It'll be 8-10. We'll get one more here. 404 left to play. And again, our free throws today are brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Yeah, what a fall Zippel and the Bulldogs had, right? Mm -hmm. This guy is going to be one of the best returning quarterbacks in Northwest Ohio next year. And you know, where the program has gone in two years since Travis Cooper took over, a fantastic work by the Bulldog football team. But we got a while before we get to football season again. I know the football coach in Miles always wants to talk to it. <laughs> may or may not be constantly looking at Steeler scores. This one taken away. Nice job defensively. TJ Kellermeyer will force the turnover. Boy, he has left his impression in this basketball game, hasn't he, in this first half? Two buckets on the aggressive nature and that time with a steal. Rodenberger picks up his dribble, trying to find someone, gets it up to Wright. Wright comes to the wing. Wright, one of those role players who has a, an expanded duties this year with his team. Much like Lopez, who gets inside. That doesn't go. one handed the rebound is Damar Foster. It was a smart play by Lopez to attack because he was being trailed by his defender. Just couldn't get it to fall down. Foster's to swing this out to the wing. And, but that move to get in, slashing to the basket, will be Jordan Pretty. Yeah, Jordan Pretty. He is indeed, isn't he? What a graceful move, attacking with that right hand. A little scoop, and then how about the smooch? Now the old-fashioned opportunity. So he will head to the Charles River free throw line to try to convert the three-point play. You have that rule, right? If you wear number zero, you have to be a good player, right? It's kind of like a target on you. And then when you have luscious hair like that, I mean, that, they're, it's reminiscent of a young Randy Roberts right a there. Bit. I mean, he has got it, dude. He, he is a dude. So when you're looking like that, you better play, and he can play. Now, I'm going to run the risk of getting this wrong, but what about the double zero? Was it Eric Montross at North Montrose, Carolina? Yeah. yeah, he was double okay. zero. Yeah. Is there a difference between getting the single zero and double zero? Well, you remember the chief, Robert uh, Parrish, also. He was double zero for the Celtics. So you have to be a center to get the double zero. It must be, right? I mean, it would look goofy if you were a smaller guy and had two zeros on your chest. Well, it remind me of my college GPA after my freshman year. A good defense again by Billy Burke, his second block of this game. Dumb and stupid is no way to go through life. <laughs> Messed that line up too with my all-time favorite moves. But that spin move pretty. Couldn't get it to go. Legon's got a spin of his own. A little double spin a Rooney on that one. Well, I think that the LCC finally has figured out what they want to do offensively, right? Don't wait on the offensive end because it is tough to drive through five defiance defenders and almost a Neil Steele up front. Legon's gonna have this one. We got a whistle, and we've got an off. Ball foul, I do believe they called it the wing. Let's see if we can see something here. There are two guys kind of tied up. I don't see anything there. A good anticipation by Carson Parker out front, and you know he was already thinking about getting his stride down and hammer that thing down on a dunk. Yeah, it's Kellermeyer who was whistled for the foul, so we saw, I guess, just a little bit of the tangling of arms on that replay. So that is his first, team second. We roll under two to go, opening half. Now how about Kellemeyer knocking pretty to the ground and helping him get up? Step back three is going to be no good. His right comes up with a miss, and now he'll bring this into the front court. Fires one for Legon. Legon to the basket. Can't get it to go. And nice move to come up with that rebound. Willie Foster will have it. Foster trying to put it into a second gear. Gets the kick out. 
Corner three is a big one out of Jordan Pretty. Oh, and Pretty lets the uh, cam uh, Kirk's Crazies know all about it after that three as they're getting on him. Randy, he's making shots with taped up fingers. That dude can score. He's got eight, and the T-Birds lead this one by a point. Now 20 to 19 with a minute 15 left in our opening half. Right gives into the corner. He thought about stepping back and shooting. Down to a minute six left. Get it out. Lee got his double team. That's not going to stop him to Lopez. Lopez, that one's going to be blocked away. And now it is the T-Birds with numbers. Basket's going to be good. What a move, Carson Parker. Oh, uh, this is a young man that ran quarterback lead for the T-Bard football team, so he knows contact. And he says, right, you're going to try and knock me down. It's not going to work because I'm a physical dude. And then a little flex towards that defiant student section. So he'll have a chance at a three-point play as he steps up to the Charles River free throw line. The LCC pulling away just a little bit here late in this opening half. Well, they've trailed. woken up, haven't they? Yeah, trailed through most of the quarter. Well, Parker with a big three-point play. Now Defiant snacking on a little danger right here with 54.5 left. Want to make sure it just stays at about a four-point margin. Don't turn it over again and let this thing extend to six or seven. And Defiance, meanwhile, with 45 seconds, have an opportunity to get this down to one possession game, but they're going to turn it over again. That has been their issue through this opening half so far. And now the T-Birds with 30 seconds to play may try to go for the final shot. Yeah, it looks like what they're going to do. Coach Paul called it out. Oh, looks like they're going to set up in a little bit of a staggered screen up top. Probably go at about eight seconds. Uh, Burke's going to be the high screener. And real important for the defiance, so keep an eye on the shooters in the quarter. And right now it's Parker with it. Down under 10. Parker, a little ball fake. We've broken the ankles of his own teammate. Foster for three, can't get it to go. Rebounds grabbed, and that's how the opening half will end. A good half of basketball here in Defiance. LCC's been able to battle back. They have a 23-19 lead over Defiance at the break. And you're watching High School Basketball live on WOSN. Hey, Radio Miles back with you here from the Taj Mahal of Basketball. 23-19, our score at the half. Partner, very entertaining opening half of basketball. The Defiance Bulldogs did exactly what they wanted to do. You can tell they came out with a plan, executed it fairly well that first 16 minutes, but LCC able to go on that late run, grab this four-point lead. Uh, very limited with their points in the paint, though, for DCC, uh, for Defiance, rather. They're going to have to do a better job. But Broken Castile, awfully quiet. Got to get him going on mm -hmm. the offensive end. But I think Clark Pellick always said spurtability, right? That, it, that definitely explains the offense of LCC. Boy, they can take off in a hurry. And Jordan Pretty, man, is he silky smooth or what? Yeah, he is. So 23-19, four three-pointers that opening half for Defiance. Part of the reason why they've sit it, LCC's hit four as well. So we're going to take another timeout. When we come back, we'll get you set for the second half as you're watching High School Basketball live on WOSN. Twenty-three and nineteen, just about ready to go for the second half. We want to tell you that our game tonight is brought to you by Twentieth Century Lanes. There's something for everyone at Twentieth Century Lanes. Proud supporter of all Lima area athletes. What an entertaining half of basketball, as we said here. Looking forward to should be another good second half. A couple of teams that. Uh, are used to playing at the end of the year. LCC actually replaced Lima Senior on the defiant schedule as the game at the end of the year. And we talked about this a little bit last night with the changes to how basketball works now with the sectional games going to higher seeds hosting. Defiance had to keep that final Saturday free or whoever the home team was this year, Defiance, as we're gonna get a quick foul. The uh, host team had to keep that final Saturday free in case their girls team would be hosting a uh, tournament game, so the uh, ADs got together and found this open date to play this. As Billy Burke trying to turn around, can't get that to go. 
Good rebound in the paint. No one really around Brogan Castillo, who's been held scoreless in that opening half. Oh, I like the initial sequence by LCC. Coach Powell said, I want to get Willie Foster a touch. Use his quickness to pick up a foul. And then they've been kind of tardy on post entries this, uh, this evening for Billy Burke. Let's get the big guy an opportunity. Yeah, we're going to get a foul going the other way here. At least someone doing some of the well. We had a whistle and they walked to the other end and no one actually went to the scores table. So I don't know what the actual call was. It just was a turnover. Yeah, good post exchange right there. Contact, you play on down to the low block as the two big bodies bump into each other and it's Billy Burke able to score. Now the guy got away with one earlier in this half or in this game, rather when he picked up a charge that time wasn't able to get it. And Billy Burke, good job by him settling in, not panicking, taking the easy one out was there. Top of the key is Lopez. Lopez will spin it over for Jordan Wright. Wright double teamed, has to get rid of it and get it out for Zipful. Into the paint now, Defiance trying to match. There's Castillo getting inside. Can't get the bounce, ball's knocked out of bounds. And I believe it's gonna stay Defiance ball. So the one downside that we have noticed here in Defiance is the officials cannot with the hands make the big calls like they like to, which direction the ball's going, because they're afraid they're gonna conk someone over the head. Well, wow, Teddy Valentine would never officiate here then. Three ball's gonna be up and good as Jordan Wright's gonna hit it. And Defiance wants to take a quick 30 second timeout to talk things over. That gives us the opportunity to tell you that our timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future, call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. We're going to take quick time out. We'll be back to Defiance right after this. Six thirty-five left to go here in our third quarter. Miles saw something here he wants to take a uh, talk to everyone about. Yeah, situational basketball is always a big deal, right? This was a great job of execution initially by LCC, but I want you to watch DeMar Foster as Parker, Carson Parker comes and he dribbles over and he's gonna draw the defense to him. See how DeMar stayed there and waited? He could have improved that shot by taking a couple steps closer to the arc. A good job except for the finish for LCC. And they do get a finish. After we come back, as Carson Parker able to shed his defender, he'll score inside, extends that LCC lead, now 27-22 on our Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. It's Castillo at the wing, has to get rid of it. Yeah, Defiance needs a basket in a big way. LCC feels as if that they're settled in offensively. They're gonna score some points in the second half. Wild three put up there, Zipful goes up and over the rim, ends up at the backside with the rebound. Grabbed by the T-Birds, trying to set up an offense. Now a travel is going to be called, and that'll send it right back over to the Bulldogs. Now, if there's been one major problem today for LCC, too many turnovers, right? Now, you talk to any coach who say one turnover is way too many, but you know, this is a team that is very talented with backcourt play, just a little bit sloppy on the offensive end. Too many turnovers so far. Finds to get this one back. There's a long three, buried it. Antonio Lopez wasn't going to let any distance bother him. The college three is good, makes it a two-point game, and the putback's going to be the answer on the other end. As I believe that was Jordan Pretty able to get in, wanted a little bit of contact, but he'll get the bucket as he is up to 12. Yeah, they're really good ones. They just have that feel, right, when their team needs a basket. Defiance had a huge momentum with Lopez hitting the three, and Pretty says, eh, let's settle down everybody into blue and white. I'm about ready to make one. Back to a four-point game. Legon trying to go baseline, picked up his dribble. Finds Zipfold. Zipfold's going to have it poked away. Here's Foster. Willie Foster leading the break. The Euro step in. The fancy layup is good. Oh, what about the anticipation? He left it out there for Lopez to try and yank it away. And just a little step through. You and I do that move. We have broken hips. Foster, Get that right. he is quite electric on the move. Castillo trying to do everything he can. He's going to shoot this one up and over. Burke doesn't get it to go. And now here come the T-Birds again. We're going to get a whistle. And looks like Carson Parker might have been 
on the sideline when yeah. he received the pass. Yeah, great call by the official. You can't be the first one to touch nope. it when you re-enter from out of bounds. Great job. Solid officiating here at the Taj Mahal. You should know that from the football rules, right? You gotta reestablish yourself. That's right. Well, I try to reestablish myself every single day, Randy. It's good for you. I want you to go on the radio and talk about your goals in life. <laughs> Oh, that block coming out of nowhere, turning the corner was Carson Parker to knock that one away. Parker now leading the break is gonna throw that two rows into the stands. Well, that's not something you see every day. Plotman and Parker not connecting on a pass. They, usually that's an automatic. Parker just tried to lead him towards the basket. Quatman thought, you know, I'm gonna settle up right here. And it's too bad because an electric defensive sequence by Carson Parker with that block. So we are halfway through this third quarter. 31-25 on our scoreboard brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Pull-up jumper is going to be no good. Visit Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphi, St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken where home style happens. Here's a fight going for a loose ball under the basket. Everyone scattering to avoid hitting some of the patrons down in the front couple of rows. you got to pay good money to get those courtside seats. And the ball's out of bounds. Yeah, Willie Foster wound up all the way about row four. Looked like something in the NBA right there. Laker game, you're paying about $1,400 to sit right there. Hence why Coach Lehman is up here in the cheap seats with us at the top of the ball. Jumper off the wing is going to be no good as Josiah Schlatter seeing some extended minutes, can't get it to go. There's a baseline drive, but a little bump and foul before the shot. Take a look at the replay. A nice little quick up fake right there with just a head by Quatman. He's going to be contacted by Wright. That's where you got to know who has the ball on the perimeter. Quatman, not a great shooter out there, so settle in. Make him beat you off the dribble drive. Pretty with a quick fake instead gets it out to Collins on the inbound. And now Pretty with a good look, just a pretty jumper from the wing. Oh, he just does not look like a sophomore, does he? Six foot two, understands the game, has the ability to hit the jumper, big time three, and knows big moments. Gotta like Jordan Pretty. T-Birds have their biggest lead of the night at eight, now 33-25. Dogs trying to answer, and how about sticking with that one was Jordan Wright. Speaking of sophomores, all of five foot 10, didn't get the first one, so you try, try again. Trying to hang that one off the window was Foster. Couldn't get it to go. Dogs hold, now they'll have a big opportunity of 2.35 to go in the third. Yeah, kind of a big possession in the second half. They get that lead down about to four, or maybe three again, because this has the feel like LCC's up by 10. Jumper kind of left flat in the hand of Rodenberger. Stepping up, and Pretty will knock down the triple from the wing. Jordan Pretty, he likes two, Randy. He likes two, but he really loves the three. Pretty down with 15. Does that lead back to nine, 36-27. 2.05 and counting to go, third quarter. Off of screeners, Lopez thought about the three. He'll swing it around to right. Right will pull up, and he'll bury the long range two. Uh, Jordan Wright, maybe a little bit of coming out party for him with this defiance offense. Coach Lehman talked extensively early in the year about having a guy that can rely on to score every single night. Maybe he's the answer. And now we're going to have a whistle. Let's see what we see coming inside. Did Collins get called for the offensive foul? It was the official back behind the play. It is the board is going to post it on Collins. So. Collins is going to be called for the offense foul, just leaning in and a little bit extra with the elbow. Now you see the shoulder, dug it into the, the chest of Ligon, digging him out. Good call by the officials. It's been a really good crew here tonight. You know, Miles' is, uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas parties, that's how you got in line. Let's make sure you got your food. So <laughs> I don't understand what the problem is. Look, I really love my dressing, okay? Rogan Castillo trying to go baseline, kind of caught under the basket, and now we're going to have another whistle coming inside. Uh, Castillo, great job finding a streaking teammate in Hutchison, because he was really boxed in on that baseline. Could have been an easy turnover. Well, good to see Robocam back with us. He almost suffered 
the worst possible fate in the game earlier today. But he hung in there like a champ as the jumpers missed off the inbound. Yeah, RoboCam does a great job. Our favorite camera guy every time. Three from the wing in and out. This one is going to be tracked down in the corner by Lopez. Lopez, speaking of corners, got one into the corner. He'll get it back out. Go to Hutchinson. Back to Lopez. They'll reset the offense. Under a minute to go in the third. Lopez stops. Picked up his dribble. He's going to need some help. He'll phone Rodenberger. Bulldogs are going to take this to heart, try to shorten this game up as much as they can. Now, loose ball on the floor. That's going to be one of the problems when you try to run out as much time. But well, Lopez for three. Rattles around, dropped it in. Yeah, a little three. Delicious. Cuts it to four. Lopi getting involved. We got eight. That left a little too much time, however, for the T-Birds with 22 seconds left. Carson Parker on the drive is able to draw the foul. Now, uh, tried to get the steal out front. Rodenberger did. Got to be sure that you get it, because if you don't, it's now five on four, and Carson Parker, the veteran, recognizes it, takes it to the rim. Parker going to the free throw line, which is brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Pretty impressive fist pump for a free throw there. I was excited for Carson Parker. He's been struggling at the free throw line. Big oh, night for both him. Both of them. Five made free throws for him, and now the officials are going to hold up plays. The ball was inbounded, and the clock never ran. So they're going to move to side court. Interesting here. Who's running the uh, clock tonight here for Defiance? So they advance the basketball, but take no time off the clock. So uh, NBA rules apparently in effect. And Defiance is going to hold for the last shot here. Make sure this margin stays at six or gets chopped down. The opportunity to cut it in half if they want to. A tough one. Can they get it off in time? Second effort. No, it's going to be blocked anyways as Burke was in there. And that's how the quarter will end, whether or not the Bulldogs want to agree. Uh, Brent Lehman is, he is angry. He says there was a contact down low. But the official right there says, no, uh-uh. He got burked. Another big block by Billy Burke. I believe that's his third of this game. At 38-32, we'll have the fourth quarter for you when we return. Thirty-eight, thirty-two. as we move to the fourth quarter, and we want to tell you that our game tonight is brought to you by 20th Century Lanes. There's something for everyone at 20th Century Lanes, proud supporter of all Lima area athletes. Quick three off the inbound, a big answer for Defiance to begin this final quarter as Josiah Schlaughter, 5'9", freshman, gets into the scoring column with a big bucket. Yeah, student section gets it. He's just a freshman chant going. Big time delivery from long range. And Burke going baseline up and over his defender. They're going to wave off the shot. A little bit of contact and a hold coming before that. Yeah, Burke does such a good job of walling off his defender, making himself available for that post entry. It's something that you got to believe LCC has got to take advantage of moving forward in this season. That's Khalil Ligon who's going to pick up the foul. Have it as his first, first of the... Uh, quarter as well for the dogs. Now seven and a half minutes to play. Parker gets the kick out. It is Damar Foster. Foster pull up jumper is good. Oh, little James Harden like right there with the crossover and then a little baby step back. Big time Phil. Team just shoots the ball so well. I think Miles and I talked about in the quarter break just so effortlessly. Everyone loves playing offense though, right? <laughs> Yeah, got to dig in defensively here, though. Keep it a five-point game, and what a steal. And it's going to be Willie Foster. Foster switches hands with the contact. Everyone wanted to call. They're not going to get it, but Foster will get the basket. Foster with six, broken Castillo, trying to do the same thing on the other end. Off the mark, now we're going to play four on four for a while as the last two catch up. Here's Parker, baseline, doesn't get it. And it's Ligon who comes up with a miss for Defiance. Yeah, never really squared up on that attempt. Go top corner. It's undefeated. 
A big opportunity right there for LCC goes awry. Jordan Wright brings us into the front court for Defiance. His pull-up jumper, that one might have been partially deflected. Nice athletic move, Willie Foster to go up and over everyone to come up with a rebound, but he might be called for the foul here. Now watch Slaughter, good job right there. That is a fundamental boxing out, right? Fantastic fundamentals. And this has been a really good rebounding team tonight for Defiance. Just gotta find a way to get some more points up. And Foster guilty of his third foul, team's first of the quarter. Quick handoff on the inbound, corner three is gonna be well short, Burt comes up with a miss. And now LCC doing what they do best. That's just running in transition. Turnaround off the high glass is going to be no good. Burke fighting inside. Gets the second effort. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Uh, big fella. Sometimes you don't get post touches, so you got to go make your own. Crash to board. Burke, Burke, Burke again. And then the finish. How do you like that emphatic fist pump right there? Letting everybody know that's big time. We'll have a chance at a three-point play as he steps up to our free throw line tonight. Brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville. The free throw rattles around and drops in. So Burke will get that. We'll make sure to mark that. We can tell you that our free throws tonight are brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Following that, now a 10-point lead. Timeout, and those tonight have been brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future, call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. We'll take a break here with a timeout on the floor. 6-10 to play, LCC's extended this to a 10-point lead. Forty-five, thirty-five. now, LCC, biggest lead of the night. First time anyone's uh, led by double digits comes again with 6-10 left to play. It's, uh, the T-Birds who have had a couple of close calls last two times out on the floor uh, against a uh, couple of old rivals, Ottawa, Glandorf, and Kaleida. Well, 2-2-1 two, two, now employed by Sean Powell, the head coach at LCC. Impressive by Defiance, bring that into front court. Ball never was dribbled a single time. Jordan Wright with it. Wright come up top of the key for Lopez. Lopez tries to spin, goes between two defenders. Burke's going to send that back. This what, fourth block of the evening, and now an over and back call. And Defiance to turn this over. Now, this was caused by what you said, the block by Billy Burke. Big time defensively, really asserting himself in the post the last couple of possessions. This brings up a good point. Maybe you can answer this. So if Burke got a block, how's that an over and back? Isn't that a touch? It is a touch, isn't it? Yeah. And was it contacted again by Defiance? Yeah. Was there was there possession, I guess, after the block? I guess. Yeah, that's probably what they ruled. Okay. Maybe it's the Neil D Diamond song, reaching out, touching me, touching you. The next thing you know, it's a violation. Carson Parker is going to get this out for Foster. Foster gets the lob in to Burke. Burke pivoting, pivoting, firing. It's no good. A nice job by Pretty. Keeping his toes off the baseline to stay inbounds. And now we're going to get a whistle and a foul. Again, you see the post entry. Fantastic job. And Billy Burke is talking to the official, saying, hey, he's following me a lot. Call it more, will ya? Yeah, Burke pinned Castile. It'll be interesting to see if LCC will go back inside more and more as this game progresses, get uh, Defiance on a lot of foul trouble. Foster gets this out to uh, Foster to Foster. There's DeBar to Willie for the turnaround. That's gonna be no good, now Defiance with a basketball, still five minutes to play, down 10. Zipfel will give to the cutter in right. Right comes back out to the corner. And didn't like that, so they'll reset the offense with Lopez. Right will take the long three, successful earlier, couldn't get that one to go. And it's Carson Parker with the miss, sets the offense. Three from the wing is gonna be buried. Now, DeMar Foster on the secondary break. No one around 
So when you have a free look, what do you do? You make them pay. It's Foster's second triple of the night. Makes it a 13 point game as Khalil Ligon able to get inside. Hill scores, Defiance now. With three timeouts remaining, they're gonna use one as they wanna talk about trying to get some stops defensively. Now, Ligon recognizes nobody is guarding him. Kind of still has the ball in the high post. Make a backdoor cut, easy find. And LCC holding on to that lead by 11. Defiance calls timeout. Boy, they really got to score some points in a hurry. Yeah, we'll take a break as well here. 48-37, we'll step side on WOSN. Forty-eight thirty-seven. now LCC in front of Defiance here. 421 left to play. It's been a closer contest than the 11 point difference would indicate. Yeah, Defiance gonna have to start gambling a little bit on the defensive end. Get some steals, maybe convert those into points, but so tough to do. You see the run and jump now. This is a LCC team that can handle the basketball. Three from the corner is going to be well off the mark, a little too strong. And right with the backside rebound is going to bring this into the front court. And he's going to find Lopez. Lopez with a fake. Now we'll get it over for Rodenberger. Garrett Rodenberger trying to get a screen. A couple of dribbles. Back out for Wright. Wright will get it to Castillo. Castillo turned himself all the way around. Found the cutter. Ball was just received in a bad spot for Lopez. That's no trouble for LCC off the miss as they're able to just convert on the other end. Oh, you remember our third key? Put on the track shoes? Oh, how about that four by one relay by LCC? Get it and go, baby. DeMar Foster now with 10 as that lead grows to 13. Under three and a half minutes to play. Wright trying to get the entry pass inside. Castillo with the arms down to indicate he wanted it low. Good job to get it, offensive rebound, but can't fall for Zipfel and off the miss. Here come the T-Birds again. Pushing transition, turning down the three. That time was Willie Foster. Now into the corner, three ball, no good out of pretty. And the rebound grabbed by Zipfel. Hey, correct me if I'm wrong, but you think everything pretty shoots is gonna go in, don't, don't it you? It feels that it, way. It does, and, and when it does, you're like, oh wow, I, I'm, I'm surprised. Rodenberger with a basketball right now. Picks up his dribble, gives behind him. Here's Lopez. Lopez step inside the arc. That one nearly got stuck in between the heel and the rim of the iron. Now, 13 point lead with 233 left. I was just going to say maybe LCC should think about working the clock. And you see Carson Parker says, you know what, guys, let's slow this down just a little bit. Now, a little called the nickel dimer, right? The little tic tac foul on Broken Castillo. That's going to be his fourth. And I believe LCC is going to, well, thought they were going to go deep into their bench, but it is a couple of starters back out. Looks like Burke and Quatman back out onto the floor. LCC needs to take care of the basketball, make their free throws, and they're going to be okay. How about not taking the, the foot off the pedal, though, right there? I don't know if they don't know how. That just might be the ability. Willie Foster is so explosive. Yeah, I, I get the feeling too, this LCC team just kind of scratching the surface on how good they, they're going to be. I'd like to really see this team in March. How good do you think they can be? There's talent everywhere. And as you know, it's tough to win in high school basketball without great guard play. And they got it. So Willie Foster able to knock down the first Charles River free throw. He'll get the, oh, misses the second. That one was halfway down. So our free throws tonight brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville. Premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs at seariver.com to apply today. They got credit Lopez getting down the floor early. Spotted up and they found him. And then more importantly, he buried it. So Lopez with a basket now makes it 51, 40 under two to go. Quatman with it to Burke. Burke with a handoff is going to find Pretty. Pretty reset the offense, trying to go one on one. A jump stop and attacks the basket, doesn't get it to go, but he'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, you know, working one on one, 
Defense is going to have to collapse, but he is so quick they can't get there in time. Knows he has a physical mismatch with right on him, just powers his way. First of the two Charles River free throws is up and good, so he'll knock that one down. It's now 52-40 with a minute 40 left to go. It's the second one is gonna be good. It's pretty able to get both tosses there. We want to tell you one last time, our game tonight has been brought to you by 20th Century Lanes. There's something for everyone at 20th Century Lanes, proud supporter of all Lima area athletes. 90 seconds left to play in this one, 53-40. LCC now moments away from improving to 9-0. Nice job with the cutter, unable to finish is Lopez. We'll get a whistle and a foul. Stop the action here with a minute 24 to go. Everyone fighting for that rebound. It's going to be just the second foul this quarter. It is the third whistled this night against Quatman. Quatman got called for a couple early, got in some trouble. Now Lopez from the baseline can't get that to go. Castillo trying to come up with a miss is going to be fouled from behind, and he's going to go to the Charles River free throw line. LCC foul's gonna go on Billy Burke. That is his first. First toss up and good out of Castillo. So that is gonna be Brogan Castillo's first point of the night. As he hits the first Charles River free throw. One more toss coming. And this one will hit, and a little too strong, it's no good. Dogs applying a little full court pressure, and we're gonna get a whistle. And it's a problem in the backcourt, a little tie up in the backcourt. As Brogan Castillo is gonna foul out tonight with uh, just that single point. And LCC is gonna get a couple of free throws in the bonus, looks like Carson Parker will now step to our Charles River free throw line. First toss, no good. And now the officials holding the play just for a moment for the second one. Second free throw is good for Parker. Parker, six made free throws. He's got 13 tonight as the lead, also 13. Three ball top of the key, spins out for Jordan Wright. And T-Birds get the miss, bring this into the front court. We go under a minute left to play. Final 60 seconds for Lima Central Catholic as they're going to Improved to nine and zero. Oh, defiance with the loss will fall to four and six. Foster's dribbling out the final 30 seconds. They'll get a bounce pass for Pretty. Pretty trying to get to the wing and comes back. They're in no hurry to shoot this one down to 25 to play. See the final seconds running off on our Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Pretty picked up his dribble with 14 seconds. He's got to hold on to this one or find a teammate. Can't take another dribble, and it looks like Defiance is in no hurry, so the teams start to shake some hands as the final seconds run off, and our final tonight here in Defiance. We'll see the T-Birds of LCC come and get an impressive win. They stay undefeated with a 54-41 to decision over the Defiance Bulldogs. We'll take a timeout when we come back. We'll go down onto the court where Miles Holiday is going to be joined by our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner when we return. Fifty-four forty-one is our uh, final score tonight. The uh, T-Birds of Lima Central Catholic come to defiance. They've stayed undefeated. We head now down to the court 
where Miles Halliday is down with our Stally Insurance Hustle Award winner of the evening. Yeah, Jordan, pretty unbelievable game for you here tonight. Uh, a little bit of a tough start. What did they do to frustrate you guys early? Uh, well, they played hard defense first, and we really couldn't get rebounds. So, you know, those two, and foul calls. There wasn't that many foul calls called for us, but we, we persevered. Well, you persevered, and then you kind of took over in the second quarter. A little bit of a slow start for you. Did you kind of get the feeling that you need to pick up your offensive game? I did. Going into this game, I wasn't really energetic. But then second half, I really stepped it up because I knew my team needed me. Is it one of those situations, I mean, everybody knows all about you guys now, 9-0, and big win over OG, another big win here tonight. Is it one of those that uh, you guys really got to give your A game every time out because everybody's gunning for you? Yeah, we uh, going into this, we knew we had a target on our back. And um, we've been talking about that every week, how we're the top dog and everybody wants to beat us and be prepared. So, Well, you are a top dog tonight. Great game by you. Court shot now. At this hoop right here, are you going to make it? Hopefully. Right. Here we go. Oh, he's got a shot and a little too long. Jordan Pretty, about the only thing you missed tonight. Congratulations, our player of the game. Randy, that guy is smooth. Yeah, he's done uh, just about everything for the T-Birds tonight. And again, he is our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. Check out highlights tonight. Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. We're going to take another quick timeout. We'll come back and put this one to bed when we return here on WOSN. So our final once again, 54-41. The T-Birds of Lima Central Catholic again get the win. They'll improve to 9-0. But the finals will fall to 4 and 6. We want to thank everyone who made our night possible here at Defiance High School. It's Jerry Beauty, the uh, AD here at Defiance High School. And I'm going to give it up for Ken Reeker and what Ken had to do tonight. Set up at Defiance College. We had a couple games earlier there today. Quick teardown that Ken and Eric did. Eric's uh, stepping up, filling in not only helping out getting the uh, the uh, equipment set up, but then having to uh, spend a little extra time here manning the camera. We appreciate everything that uh, Eric did tonight as well. So again, 54-41 is our final. The T-Birds of LCC stay undefeated. So for my partner, Miles Holiday and our entire WOSN crew, I'm Brady Roberts. Good night, everyone. <laughs>